And patio furniture is going to need to be replaced in Newtown. Maggie Mahler sent this in. Oh, uh, her, no. Yeah, her umbrella smashed right into her glass tabletop Ooh. and shattered the glass all over her patio. So that's the kind of winds we've had out there this morning, and that is a bit unfortunate. Maggie, thank you for sending that in in Newtown. All right, we've got pouring rains out there for you this morning in northeast Connecticut. It is getting better in other parts of the state, but it's still pouring in Stafford, Tollins, Doors. The rain is coming down horizontally as opposed to vertically. Uh, it's just like sheets of rain coming down in stores and over Heber and Wyndham. Uh, Stafford, you guys are adding to the rain totals, which have been impressive. Anywhere from two to three inches of rain, I'm getting reports of at weather3 at WFSB.com. You can see the rain down through Wyndham, Lebanon, Franklin. This is all moving from east to west, so everybody in parts of northeast Connecticut, Putnam, it's going to get a little bit heavier. Danielson, Brooklyn, it's going to get a little bit heavier within the next 15 to 20 to 30 minutes. Also, right down 395 in Plainfield and Griswold, the rain is going to get a little bit heavier there as well. All right, let's take you out. Roads are wet. Caitlin's got a report coming up for us. She's got several accidents out there. It's a bit of a mess. Here's our uh, Hartford ICAM from Rocky Hill. It's getting a little bit better. You can see the rain has kind of subsided a little bit better in Middletown with the sky starting to brighten up there and much better as we take a look at Hartford uh, outward, which is good news. So heavy rain is still with us in parts of northeast Connecticut, and that gusty wind continues. The wind advisory is in effect for most of the state with a high wind warning until 8 o'clock for southeast Connecticut. Temperatures in the low 70s. The dew points are in the low 70s, but look at the dew points dropping for northwest Connecticut where the winds are shifting out of the west and a drier air is starting to push into the state, which is awesome. The winds still sustained 31 miles an hour in Groton. That's where that high wind warning is with a gust of 39 miles an hour. 30 mile an hour wind gust at Bradley, 24 at Brainerd, 28 in New Haven, but it is getting a little bit better out there. Clearing by noon, you can expect partly to mostly sunny skies by that time. Look at the action taking place. Uh, bright sunny skies with temperatures in the low 70s by later on this afternoon. So it's going to be a great afternoon. Even by 9, 10 o'clock, the rain is pretty much over, and then the sun makes an appearance by this afternoon. And then it turns a bit cooler. Yes, a big cool down is headed in our direction, but we got to get through a little bit more rain. You can see it's becoming scattered and sporadic. The heaviest of the rain is moving through the state right now in northeast Connecticut. The back edge of the system where all the skies are clear is pushing through Pennsylvania. The lower Hudson Valley will be next, and then we will follow suit. So behind that, much much better weather. According to early warning future cast, tomorrow's weather today. The action is gone. This is by noon and uh, the rest of the day looks fantastic. So get out there and uh, do a little cleanup this afternoon. Highs today climb into the upper 60s, low 70s. Your seven day forecast includes a beautiful day tomorrow. 64 on Friday with a little bit more rain. Saturday and Sunday, we're talking about a beautiful weekend with partly to mostly sunny skies, but much cooler temperatures. Monday, a chance for more rain and then Tuesday dries out with a high of 68.